Hello there. In this tutorial, we will be looking at how to configure your Facebook group after initial creation on your Facebook group. Basically, it gives us several options that we need to fill out to make sure that your Facebook group is both attractive and informative to the target audience that you need to add to your group. So compared to a Facebook fan page, managing and configuring a Facebook group is pretty much easier and much uh, simpler than a Facebook fan page. Upon initial creation, just like the Facebook fan page, Uploading a banner is essential to make sure that your uh, Facebook group is informative and it gives you a certain brand or a personalized feel onto it. Same dimension supply, 851 pixels by 315 pixels is the efficient size for your uh, Facebook group banner. However, the safe areas are uh, diff pretty much different uh, compared to your personal banner or your uh, personal Facebook page banner. So right here, I've, you can see a safe zone for uploading your content. Right over here, we can see that for the FB group buttons, make sure that you don't have any content, text, or uh, some kind of detail on your image underneath those to make sure that you can maximize the way the image appears. And likewise, over here, we can see that this part over here is occupied by the group name, how your audience will see it. So make sure there's no text or content on that area as well. And everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. Unlike a Facebook fan page, there's uh, no option for you to add a profile picture. So over here, we can see a button such as share this group. Basically, if you're the moderator or the creator of the group, you can actually have this shared on your personal timeline or you can share it on a friend's timeline. You can also share it within a different group or share on a personal page that you manage. And lastly, can you share the group or promote the group in a private message or a PM towards uh, one of your friends or some people that you can message. You can um, tag in a people in your post. If you're gonna post it on your timeline, write something about it. Let's say if you're promoting it for voiceovers and say looking for a place to stay. It can change the privacy settings on the post. So either public, friends, or more options. You can add a location and add up um, one of those um, status messages on how you're feeling, what you're doing, and click on post. Moving on, we have here a search bar on uh, searching content within your group. Upon initial creation, uh, it asks you to fill in a description or add a description for your group to make sure that people know um, who you guys are, what you're offering, you can add an icon and over here if we scroll down we can see the current members or active members of your group you can see here two members basically one would be the moderator or if you're the one who created a group it will be you and you can see other members that are present on your group now you can see a gear icon right below the person or right below the people who are under your group basically this gives you the option on making them a moderator or if you want to remove them from your group you can actually do so you can find here a button on adding people so it gives you the option to uh, type in their name and basically it's gonna auto populate with people or friends that are you're already connected with if I type in the letter L, it's going to populate with people uh, on my friends list. This drop down right here allows you to filter in and check on if you happen to have a really uh, large number of people under your group, it gives you the option to filter them out with and check on who are the admins or the members by name and the members by join date. You can also see people who you've blocked on your group. Under events, it's pretty much uh, basically just like creating an event under your personal fan page or your personal Facebook page. You can create an event, add the name of the event, add a details, add a place, and the date and time details. You can also click on the option to invite all members of the group. So basically, if it's going to be an important event like a convention, a meetup, or a, a seminar, you have the option on sending automatic invites to all of the members on your group rather than having to message or send a PM with them one by one. And settings over here, you can check on upcoming events and the settings for your events. So it allows you to change temperature, that's pretty cool. And for display options, you can hide suggested events, hide declined events, hide birthdays, hide invites from uh, iCalendar export and show 24 hour time. Moving over to photos, basically a cool feature of being in a group, you can actually upload pictures 
pictures and videos to your uh, group, which would make it uh, more attractive to people. Let's say if you happen to be a group that's doing video games, you can upload contents uh, for video games, such as videos, let's say reviews. You can create an album or add a video over here. And if you scroll down, we can see uh, available content or available media that we've already uploaded. And of course, uh, lastly, under files, uh, you can actually upload files that uh, your group members can access. Usually it would be a, a directory of the members on your group, other documents or files that you need to share with your group. Just make sure that um, they're not copyrighted because Facebook uh, usually is uh, pretty strict on the files that you share. And if we click on the settings icon over here, right beside notifications, you can see pretty much uh, similar uh, stuff that we've uh, discussed a while ago add people manage group send a group message create an event uh, add to favorites basically if you have this group added to your favorites and it's going to appear under your groups over here as your favorite just like this one you can hide a group or you can create a new group and report a group this is a feature if you happen to be in a group that shares offensive uh, material or if you think that the people over there are a bit crazy you can actually report the group to Facebook administration select options on what's wrong with the group let's go ahead and check out manage group this um, gives us several options over here member requests if you have your settings for your group that your members need to be approved upon joining you will be able to see member requests over here uh, so as long as your group is searchable and they can add themselves you as an administrator would need to approve them if that would be the settings reported to admin basically these are stuff that have been reported to you or other administrators, if there's offensive material, if they do offensive stuff on your group. Group information, again, this is where you uh, add a description on who you guys are and what your group is all about. And request notifications, if you want to get notifications when people ask to join your group, or if you want the option to only see requests to join when visiting the group. Now going under edit group settings, it gives us the same options as when we initially created a group, such as the group name. You can even change the icon under group. Again, privacy settings, public, anyone can see the group, its members, and their posts. Um, we created a closed group so anyone can find a group and see who is in it, but only members can see the posts and the content that you've uploaded. And lastly, secret group, only members can find the group and see posts. So this is if you're pretty much heavy on privacy and you want your group to be secured, uh, you can go ahead and make it a secret group. Membership approval. Any member can add or approve members. If you want people to uh, freely add themselves up and get approved automatically. Or any member can add members but an admin must approve them. Again, if you're want, uh, if you heavy on security for your group or if you want to filter out the people who joins your group, you can select this one. For web and email address, again, this is a cool feature for Facebook. You actually have an email dedicated to you and you can create a customized URL or a customized email address for your group. You just have to make sure that the URL or the name is not yet taken by any other people or, or any other groups. Again, adding the description. Tags are pretty much related to SEO purposes and how you want your group to be much more accessible and searchable over the net. So add in um, add keywords that are related to your group, such as if you're into video games, we can go ahead and add them. So you can click on those. Um, there's actually an auto populated suggestions that you can use or you can create your own. And for posting settings, by default, members and admins can post to the group or you can change that to if you want only administrators to post to the group. And likewise, lastly, you can have the option to pre-approve or approve posts by members before they get posted to the group. Don't forget to click on save after changing the settings on your group. And basically in a nutshell, that's how we manage your Facebook group. Thank you for watching.